So what's up guys, it's Technology L back here and I'm back with another video regarding the NVIDIA game filters with Valorant. For those of you who have no idea what this thing is, so NVIDIA filters usually work with all the games and recently the remove HUD filter from NVIDIA kind of worked like a hack in Valorant. So if you use that filter, you would kind of get immune to flashes because Valorant flashes are designed in such a way that they come on top of the HUD. So NVIDIA filter considers the flashes to be a part of the HUD and removes it. So once you use that filter, you are immune to flashes, which is kind of cheating when you are playing competitive game. So in order to fix this, Riot decides to completely remove Nvidia support from the game. Instead of fixing that one bug, they decide let's remove off the entire filter and ruin everyone's gameplay. For those of you who are habituated to Nvidia filters, you are looking around for alternatives but there is no good alternative yet in the market. But I have recently found one and today in this video we'll be checking it out how it works. So that application is nothing other than Razer Cortex. You can simply go up to Google and then download Razer Cortex installer. Just go to the section game booster and then simply download it from here. Once downloaded, install the application, log in with your Google account or whatever you're comfortable with and then simply open up the application. Once it comes up, simply go to the section Booster Prime and there you'll find your game. Just hit Optimize Now. So this thing is basically a game booster from Razer which will help you get better frame rates and better response time. It will close all background applications and all of this stuff. So I cannot assure performance improvement, your game will run just as it used to. There is no impact on the performance using this application. So just go to the section Make Adjustments and from there you can adjust the hue whichever you are comfortable with i guess no one is going to adjust this reset it to default you have options for brightness and contrast just set it to whatever you are comfortable with and then simply adjust your digital vibrance by default this thing will be set to zero 100 is actually too high so just put it around 88 and then just simply hit save once done you can see the color adjustment on your screen itself once done all you need to do is to press start game So pressing start game did not help out. So now we'll have to run the game manually. And as soon as Valorant is about to start, the colors of the screen has changed. I've, I'm not sure if this thing has been recorded in the software, but I can see the change on my screen. So I'll just quickly head to the range. Once you are in the game, you can see the color profile changes on your own. The game is looking way better, well saturated, a good amount of color correction has been done. And this thing is not exactly the same as the NVIDIA game filter, but to an extent the performance and the outcome is just the same. You can see my frame rate, it is just normal as it used to be. So using this application has made no change, no frame drops, no performance delay or anything like that. So now coming to the point whether you can record this color changes, so the answer is a big no. But once you are playing the game, the color correction is going to just work fine. So if you just quit the game simply by going to exit to desktop, the color profiles will just get set default which means once you close the game your desktop color will get back to normal and as soon as you run the game Razer Cortex will apply the color filters which you have selected. So this is a good application because this thing turns on the color profile as soon as you turn the game on and it does not stay permanent on the screen. So once you are off with the game the colors get back to default. So that's the only advantage with this. This thing is not going to get you any sort of lag or frame drops and the best part for those of you who think this will get you banned answer is a big no you are not going to get banned for using this because this thing is just a system optimizer it will optimize your ram your cpu and just get you 5 to 10 more frames so that's all for this video hope you found this interesting if so drop a like and stay subscribed as we keep coming up with such videos every week thanks for watching